Hey guys, today I'm going to give you some data. I asked my distributor to tell me more about this set, Ravnica Remastered. And the collector's booster boxes are going for $230. If you buy max buy, so if you buy, I think, what is it, two cases of 24. Um, if you max buy four, 40 or 50, it can drop the price down to 215 so it's starting at 230 can be dropped down to 215 if you buy enough and the idea the chase is the shock land so i think that is very important to know the serialized number cards are pretty interesting here um they're supposed to be one percent in every box so if you buy 100 boxes you are supposed to get one percent of the uh serialized cards and that's pretty good. Um, I do believe that they might hold a lot more value. But there will be a flood of Shockland. There was a lot of Shockland, man. A lot of Shockland. Um, I, people are going to open 5 to 10 Shockland a box. Uh, on average, probably 7, 8 a box. From what I know. Uh, I have had a friend. My friend wanted to go buy in. He used my account um and he started opening them uh, we got them pretty early i don't know if it's early or not he got them shipped to his home and yeah he's saying hey man i got like so much shock land i need to get i mean you are going to be able to make your 40 shock land very very easily um there's something called a bonus shock land <laughs> i don't even know what he's talking i mean he showed me sent me some pictures of it the other day it is crazy in my opinion, um, the amount of shock lands are coming out of this. But then again, you know, it kind of makes sense and there are higher valuable cards. I do think that the shock lands can drop a lot, like a lot, a lot. Uh, the anime pull rate is pretty good. Like they basically stack this. I mean, they're basically saying, um, <laughs> basically saying, just let it run, my guys. Let it run. Uh, so, okay, so I'm actually texting him now. So it's about every two packs have a shock land. Yikes, man. Every two packs have at least one shock land based on what he was able to pull. Some packs have multiple shock lands, um, different types. Uh, this is Ravn the Cover Remastered. And it's, I don't know if I would buy into this. I feel like it is definitely not a good buy. Um, I feel like the price is going to tank so, so hard right now. Uh, the retro cards, the retro border, the anime. There's going to be a flood of Shocklands just hitting the market. Like I said, one of, one of every two packs has a Shockland. You, you got to imagine that's a lot of Shockland flooding the, in the individual market. Now... Uh, the question is, should he hold some? Should we, we actually talked about this for probably over an hour. My stance is nothing should be holding. Um, I, I don't think you want to hold any of these sets, like Collector's Edition. I bought a bunch of Collector's Edition from Front of the Aldrin and so on, and, and none of these things go up in price. I mean, seriously, none of these... Like, you would think that the Collector's Editions, the older the Collection Edition the more likely it could go up in price, but that's just not the case here. Um, a lot of these prices are pretty high right now. They're obviously pre-order prices. And I think they're going to I think they're going to collapse. I think they will absolutely collapse in a heartbeat. So the uh, according so in on TCG player they're selling for two fifty six distribution or just Distribution cost is to 20, 225, 230, 215, depending on how much you buy. So there's not much cushion. Uh, essentially, they're selling it for a tiny bit of a gain. After TCG player, there's not much left. And the draft boxes are selling for 167 right now on TCG player. It's pretty interesting. It is definitely a set that I would keep my eyes on, mainly because it can get very low very fast. 
this set can hit the low, 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 low really, really fast. And I'm wondering, you know, Psychonic Rift is the chase card right now. There's a lot of really good old frame cards. Psychonic Rift has multiple frames on it. I like the anime cards. You know, I'll be honest. I like them, and that's why I might buy into it. But I wouldn't buy into it more than 220 225 I think that's the max. And since we already ordered some, I'm already able to buy at the lower limit. So he was able to get most of his at 230 and the next limit would be about 225 and then there's the next limit at 220 and 215 is the bottom from what we talked about with the distributor um there doesn't seem to be very much interest in the set and they have a lot of it uh, i don't believe I, I know alpha investment said there's limited but there's like different definitions of limited i think it is somewhat limited because no one really wants it but i don't think it's limited because they made it limited i think it's gonna i think it's gonna be tough I think it will be very, very difficult to flip this product and make money from it only because of just how much of the product exists and how easy it is to buy. And the fact is, like I'm, I'm telling you, 230 and it's selling on TCG Play for 256 or something. There's not much profit in it after you pay your TCG player fees, right? Um, and I don't think you can break this product for singles. The as soon as these shock lands, as soon as people realize these shock lands are one in every two packs, they're going to um I mean <laughs> the the entire product is based on these shock lands. And without these shock lands, it's going to um go down to very the X E V is gonna go drastically down because that's what the whole set is about. Now do I would I hold this product? Absolutely not. Um the reason I would not hold this product is really obvious. Any recent modern product until they they um, until they show me otherwise. Uh, any recent modern product, I wouldn't hold. I think it is a absolute absolute uh, sell. And the reason I believe so is because you don't want to hold on to any magic product modern product right now. They've all gone down in price. And who knows if the big bad Amazon will have a sale. Even if you don't believe it, you don't need to take the risk right now. These boxes are going to get cheaper. My distributor has a ton of them. And he's not really able to sell any of them. He, he told me like um, that there might be another price drop and then it will give us a refund or something. Something ridiculous like that. I don't know. I wasn't really paying too much attention. But my friend did have fun opening the set. He did enjoy opening it. He... Um, not really for the camera. He actually owns a very large company. Uh, he gets paid $10 million base salary. He lets me know this. His base salary is $10 million. So he does not want to be associated with Magic the Gathering at all. In any context. Uh, except to order and have fun. And he, he didn't even like invite me over to like hang out and like open the packs like normal. I guess he just wanted to order on by himself and just... I don't really know what he was looking for. Uh, I think he, he does like serialized numbers. He actually purchased a out of 900. So there's a human ones or the dwarf ones. But he has a bunch of them now. He's got at least uh, three of them. The serialized number, Lord of the Rings. I think he likes that type of stuff. I don't like it. Anyway, bye guys.